Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to create a procedural sun using Blender. Let's get started. Well, delete the light and the cube, then add the UV sphere. Set the number of segments to 64 and rings to 32. Now go to render mode and shader editor section. Delete the principal BSDF and add an emission shader and connect the emission to the surface. Now add a layer weight node and connect the Fresnel to strength. I set the blend value to 0 0.035. You can also use a color ramp to control this better. And I change the emission color to orange. Now the problem is that I connected the color ramp to strength and now we cannot control the emission strength. The solution we have is to add a mask node and change its function to multiply. Now we can control the emission strength by changing the value in this node. Add a noise texture and press Ctrl T to add these two nodes. Of course, if nothing happens, you must activate the node wrangler add-on. Now I press Ctrl Shift left click to see what's going on. And I set the scale to 2.5, change the detail to 10 and increase the roughness. And I set the distortion to 1. Now add a color ramp and place it here. Change the position of this color stop to 0.5. I think it's better to reduce the distortion. Select these three nodes and press Shift D to duplicate them. This time I change the scale to 120. Press Ctrl Shift D to duplicate the noise texture. I change the scale of this one to 30 and reduce the details. I also reduce the detail and roughness of this noise texture and return the distortion to zero. Now we can use a color ramp and connect factor to factor. I change the position of this color stop to 0.55. To mix this color ramp and noise texture, just select both of them and press Ctrl numpad 0. Change the blending mode to add and set the factor to 1. Duplicate this color ramp and place it here. Add a mask node and connect color to value. Duplicate this mask node and connect the value of this to the value. Again, press Shift D and this time set the mask node function to multiply. Connect value to strength and connect emission to surface. And set this value to 20. You can play with the settings here to get the desired result. And of course, don't forget to make the background color black. Now we want to make the flares. 
duplicate this object and also duplicate this material. Click everything to expect emission. Add a mix shader and a transparent PST. Connect transparent PST to this socket and connect emission to this one. Add a noise texture, set the scale to 2.5, change detail to 12, change the roughness to 0.8 and for now I change the distortion to 1. Press Ctrl T to add these two nodes. Add a color ramp, connect factor to factor and color to factor. I changed the emission strength to exactly the same number as the strength of our sun object. Now we need to go to the modifier step and add a displace modifier. Click on new, click on this icon here and change the te texture type to clouds. Change the size to 2.5 and I change the strength to 0.7. Add two subdivision surface modifiers, one before the displaced modifier and one after the displaced modifier. I select the sun and add the displace modifier for this as well. Now we want to animate this star we created. So first I change the dimensions of these two noise texture to 4D and we can animate things that are on the surface of the star by changing this W value. So I add a value node. Then I type hashtag frame slash 2500 here. Then I connect this value node to the W's of first noise textures. We can also do the same for flares. Now let's find a nice angle and render the scene. And the unfortunate thing about this scene is that it doesn't look like what we want to create. But here we are going to use Blender Compositor. So let's go to the Compositing tab and activate the Use Nodes checkbox. Add a viewer to see what's going on. Then add a Glare node and set the Glare top to Bloom. One thing we can do to work faster in the compositing section is to go to Performance, Compositor, and use GPU. This feature was added in Blender 4.2, so if you are using older versions, you won't see this option. Duplicate the Glare node and this time set the Glare top to Strix. Now add the sound beams node. Connect image to image, change the ray length to a number like 0 0.025, add a mix color and connect image to image. 
set blending mode to add and factor to 0.2. We also can play with the settings a bit to finally get the result we like. Unfortunately, I forgot something, so let's go and fix them. First, set this object and set the strength of this displace modifier to 0.3. Then select this object and set the strength of this modifier to 1. Now add an empty. Select this object again. Set the coordinates to the object. Here choose empty. Select the empty again and finally for the Y location of this empty type hashtag frame slash 75. Well guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.